All right. Shalom. 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 We are, we are GMS West Palm Beach, GMS Salt. Uh, I'm the brother Ba'ar, and this is? Gabar. All right. And before we start, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakar Kadash. We'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Billstone. We'd like to give salutations to the Akim preaching the gospel across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, my kyaun. Shalom. Shalom. You know, we wanted to do a quick lesson, man. You know, we were in the spirit, you know, but this uh, lesson that we're doing was based on uh, the spirit that we were in earlier this week on Tuesday, man. And we were just having a discussion, man. And, um, you know, when you're coming in this tr into this truth, you know, you, you really have to uh, uh, prepare yourself. But we want to start off with this first precept. Go ahead, Aki. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 7 and verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go and end thereat. Okay, the scripture says, enter ye at the straight gate, man. Which means, uh, uh, enter ye into a, uh, 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 a position of, 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 a road of difficulty, you know? Something, uh, something that's, uh, straight, which means it's tight, uh, uh of difficulty. All right. So these are these are the conditions that you have to prepare yourself for when you walk when you enter into this truth, man. Okay. Enter ye at the straight gates. Go ahead and read it again. Uh, this is Matthew seven and thirteen. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate mm -hmm. and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Okay. It says uh, uh wide is the gate. All right. And it says broad is the way that leadeth into destruction. Perfect. Okay, because this uh, this the, the, uh, the this this uh, thing that we're a part of is not this spirit, this body that we're a part of is not something that uh, is broad. Okay, it's a, it's a very straight gate. It's not because uh, when when you when you mention anything broad, it's easy, it's wide. A, a bunch of people can come into it. Okay, similar to uh, Christianity, you know, Christianity they allow any and everybody to come into it, but. Uh, the straight gate, only Israelites can come through the straight gate. And only Israelites who have the gift of faith can only can enter in. Okay? Because the scripture says uh, 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 you, you have to take the leap of faith when you're coming into this truth, man. Okay? Because, you know, the scripture says, as it is written, okay, that we, that, that, that we may be justified in our sayings. Okay? So, the scripture says, let the most high be true and every man a liar. Okay, so when you read, when you hear these things, because the scripture says faith comes by hearing. Okay, so when you're out on the highways and byways, or when you're watching these videos and you hear the, and you hear these uh, precepts coming out, okay, and if you're at home, you could pause the video and you can uh, fact check to see if what the uh, that what we're saying is true or not. Okay, and if you see the things that what we're saying is true and is true, then you have to prepare yourself, man, and that's and, and that's a, that's a gift. Okay. And, and, and once you once you receive that gift and you understand that the Most High has chosen you to understand these things, you have to prepare yourself for temptation, man. That's a lot. I, I was kind of going on. No, you're but, going. Yeah, yeah. Um, we get verse uh, Matthew 7 and 14. Because straight is the gate mm -hmm. and narrow is the way Come which on. leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Okay. Yeah. Say it again. Come on. Matthew 7 and 14. Because straight is the gate mm -hmm. and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it okay and few there be that find it man because not everybody this this truth isn't for everybody okay it's only for the elect okay and only the elect are gonna uh, uh put away the ways of the world and and and, and follow and serve the lord you know two-thirds of our people they they say that they love the lord but they don't do as they're commanded the lord said if you love me keep my commandments man and two-thirds of our people they don't want to do they don't want to keep the commandments of the lord you know, they, the only thing, the only commandments that they, they know of is the Ten Commandments. And even those, a lot of our people, they don't keep. Even these so-called Christians, they don't, a lot of them don't keep uh, the Ten Commandments. All right? But two-thirds of our people, they take the uh, the easy way out. You know, uh, uh, just call on Jesus and you're going to be forgiven of your sins. And that's not so. Okay? And that's a part of the straight gate. When you, when you, when you enter into the straight gate, you understand that. Now we understand the Lord died for our sins, yes, but you gotta you, you gotta uh, show appreciation for the Lord's sacrifice, man. By to, by 
uh, uh, serving him to the best of your ability by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, okay? And not just a, a willingly sin. This is not what the straight gate is all about, okay? The straight gate is all about perfection, man, okay? Because the scripture says, uh, 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 be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect, okay? And that's a commandment, all right? So you have to strive to be perfect, man. But the, uh, but the scripture also say we all fall short of the glory of the most high. You know, this is why we often say, man, you have to uh, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. The Lord knew that, you know, we, a lot of us weren't going to be able to keep it perfectly. It, 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 especially here in Babylon, uh, you know, knowing that we're, 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 we're still captives, you know. But that's the goal. The goal is to keep, be perfect. Okay? Because there, why not be perfect? You know, the Lord kept, it, kept the law, statutes, and commandments perfect. Okay, and if we're going to follow his lead, then we should do the same, you know, but he's the sacrifice for our shortcomings. All right, go ahead. That was it. Okay. Um, you know, but yeah, man. Uh, yes, please, 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 please. You know, the straight gate, not everybody wants to go into the straight gate, man. You know, we often see these things when we go out when we're out in the highways and byways and we're, we're, we're encountering brothers and sisters, you know, and we're bringing out the scriptures and we're having discussions with them. You know, you can see it in their face. Those who don't want to come into the straight gate, they're like, you know, they're lukewarm. They're wishy-washy. You know what I mean? They don't, they, they, they hear what we're saying and they may believe it, but they don't want to walk the walk. You know, they just want to be hearers of the word. They don't want to be doers of the word. But those of us who are out on the highways and byways, those of us who, uh, uh, you know, the, the one third who are at their homes, you know, they're studying, they're reading, they're, they're, they're uh, preaching to any and everybody that they possibly can. Those people, man, they, they are willing to go through the straight gate, man. They are willing to, they are willing to walk the walk, okay, and not just talk it, okay? But two thirds of our people, they're not willing. That's why uh, Christianity broad is that gate, man. And many there is that go in, okay? And a lot of people go into uh, Christianity. You know, it, it's often uh, said amongst us that uh, there's a total number of Christians, uh, 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 the total number of Christians worldwide is 2.2 billion. That's a broad way, okay? And in Christianity, you can do what you want, okay? But when you're entering into this straight gate, you can't do what you want, okay? You got to put away the ways of the world. But go ahead, our kids. Right. In Sirach chapter 2 and 1, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure, okay. and make not haste in the time of trouble. Okay, but the scripture says, uh, verse 1 again, say it again. Okay. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Okay, the Lord told us, okay, when we're coming into the house of the Lord, when we're coming in to serve him, we have to prepare our soul for temptation, man. Okay, because we, we, we live in the valley of the shadow of death, man. We live in Babylon, okay, the daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great, which the scriptures speaks about, man. We are here, okay, and we are exposed to all kind of evils and wickedness, man, okay, because we were born in sin, okay, we fell away from our heritage, we fell away from who we, from, uh, from our identity. These things were taken away from us, so we were, we were taught that we were so-called black people, okay, we were taught to eat crab, shrimp, shrimp and lobster. Okay, all of these things are the devices of our enemies, man, to keep us further in darkness, to keep us further uh, 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 sinning against our power. Okay, we were born, like the brother in Dallas says, man, we were born in the worst case scenario, man. And all of this was uh, strategic by our enemies. But ultimately, this was uh, a strategy of the Most High to try us. Okay, we were born in the fire. Okay. We were, we were born in the valley of death, okay? But those those who, who enter into the straight gate, they take hold unto life, man. And who's that life? That's Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? He's that mercy that we, we, we take hold on to, man. All right? But uh, I, I wanted to uh, bring this out real quick. All right? This is uh, mm, uh, con. This is uh, John 3, verse 3. And it says, Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he
he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High, okay? You have to be born again, man. You have not literally born again, because that's not possible in, in this flesh, okay? But being born again in the spirit, okay? Renewing your mind, okay? To serve the Lord. You have to become as a, a, a little child again. You have to put away everything that you've learned about the scriptures away, okay? And, and humble yourself and to be retaught. You have to put your hand on the plow. You have to study the scriptures, okay? You have to study to show yourself approved, okay? And the scripture also says prove all things. See, these so-called pastors in these churches, they can't prove all things, okay? And when you're in these churches, you're in these buildings, it's a controlled environment, okay? The scripture says a, a, a wisdom a, a, a crieth in, in, in the streets, you know, roughly paraphrasing, okay? And the men of the Lord are out on the highways and byways prophesying and preaching, okay? That's not a controlled environment, okay? Anybody who has a question, uh, 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 we, have to, we have to answer them according to the scripture, okay? So these are the things that, you know, you have to look forward to when you're in the scriptures. You know, I kind of lost my train of thought. All right, all right. Uh, but let me, let me finish this real quick, quickly. Uh, uh, verse 4, it says, Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh Shai answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. That water, what's that water? That's the scriptures, man. That's the word of the Most High, man. Okay, and, that's the, and, that's, and, and the spirit is putting on the spirit of Yahweh Shai. You know, that's the only way you're going to be able to serve the Lord, man. Okay? The, uh, 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 the, the, what the scripture says, uh, the day will come where the true worshiper shall worship the most high in spirit and in truth. Okay? And, and, and this, is what we're, this is what we're doing. We're worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth, man. Okay? We're not worshiping the Lord based on lies, based on the, uh, 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 the, the precepts, precepts of men. Okay? The precepts of men are not of the most high. They're not from the most high. Okay? We worship him according to the scriptures, as it is, as it is written, okay? And it also says, Salakia, and it says, verse 6, and it says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit, man. Okay, so we have to worship the Lord in spirit, okay? And we have to be reborn in the spirit, okay? Go ahead, Marcus. Um, this is Romans chapter, chapter 12, and verse 2. Actually, we start at 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, so, you know, when the brother was talking about, um, um, the brother was just talking about, um, you know, being born again. You know that's 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 you being uh, born again by um, by it says I'm gonna read again Romans 12 and 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind you know and you know when you come into this truth all right we um, you know brothers is 25 years old 26 years old 19 years old so that's 19 years of wickedness you know that 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 the Lord has to clean up you know so. When you come into the truth, you you have to you have to you being born again is you renewing your mind, you know, because this world has taught us nothing but but lies. All right, taught us the precepts of men, you know, and it says that ye may prove that it's like it that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High, you know, and you know, and uh, let me get another scripture, and this is um Second Corinthians five. In verse 17, therefore, if any man be in a Mashiach, he is a new creature. Huh. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. You know, so it says old things are passed away. You know, so, you know, uh, you know, because brothers was um, uh, uh, following, you know, Christianity, you know, calling on the name of Jesus Christ. Huh. All right, brothers was uh, was um, Catholic. You know, we, we, we was in all different type of religions, you know, mm -hmm. but. The world, but but Yahweh Bashem Shai, he's bringing us back. All right, he's renewing our minds. You know, he's teaching us the um the he, we he's teaching us the the the, the ways of, of old. All right, seeking that old path. Right. You know. 
Mm-hmm. You know, but man, man, you, with those presets, the last pre- two presets, man, you went you, you went hard in the paint on that one. But um, yeah, man, we we were renewed in our spirit. You know, we 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 we've been reborn into royalty. Right. You know, we were we were slaves before, but now we're reborn in royalty, man. Now we have a ruling class mentality. Now we know those people that were mean mugging us, or uh, uh, cause you know these Edomites, man. Somebody I was thinking about it today, man. These Edomite men, you know, in particular, you know, there's two types of looks that they give you. It's either a mean mug, like they know that they're above you and you're a slave, and you know, which they don't stand. They they, they really don't stand on anything. They have nothing to stand on. But they because they think that you're in dark in the darkness. Right. You're in the dark. They able to mean mug you and look at you like a. Like you a slave, like you lower than them, because that's what they thinking in their mind, right. right? But and then another look that they give off is that that little smirk, like that smile, like what you smiling for? It ain't nothing for you. To, ain't, I ain't said nothing to you. I ain't. I just looked at you and you smiled. Those two looks, man. You know that. You know, I lost the train of thought. But yeah, man. You know, but we, we're being reborn, man. And we no longer now we have a ruling class mentality. Okay, now we look at them as if they're the enemies. They are the enemies. Okay, now we look at them as if they're peasants. They are peasants, man. Okay, when you're renewed in the, when you're renewed in the spirit and you're renewed in your mind, you take on that you take on that characteristics. You know, and one of the precepts that I was listening to videos today, I was hearing it quite often, man. You know, if possible, be at peace with all men, man. You know, and that's what that's the spirit that we have to be in here in Babylon because yeah, we're still. Uh, uh, captives, we're still in captivity, but through the spirit, man, you know, in our minds, man, we are, you know, slamming their face into the ground. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's because we know the truth, and the truth right. has, has set us free. Come. And I was just thinking about it. You know, the Lord has to re- has had to renew our, um, our mind, has to renew our spirit, because Come. you know, in order for the in order for you to walk the straight gate, you gotta, you know, when we was in this world, we wasn't prepared. To walk the straight gate, you know, because we've been lied to. We've been, uh, you know, the, the, the so-called white man. We we we've been taught that he's above us, so right. we wasn't physically or mentally prepared to walk that straight gate, you know. Right. So the Lord has to renew you in order for you to walk that straight gate, you know. That's why knowledge is power, man. Uh-huh. You know, when the Lord gave us this knowledge, man, it it, it renewed us, and what it did was it it, it kind of. Uh, solidify everything that we pretty much already thought that we we had an inkling of in the world we knew that we were better than them we knew that we were far more intelligent than them you know but when the lord uh called us back unto him and 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 reassured us and let us know everything that we thought about them was true you know you know that 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 took us to the next level you know but we knew these people were weaker than us man we just couldn't understand like why are these people on top man how did they get this? How did they get to where they got, man? You know, but through when, but when the Lord brought us back into our remembrance, then we remembered through the scriptures, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shah, that we went through captivity, man. Okay, that these people uh, 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 benefited off of us, man, for more than 400 years, man. Okay, and 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 knowing that the the modern world that you see was invented by us, man, but they take they take all the credit, and they walk around here with their nose up to the sky. Acting like they're better than you, but yo, when you come into this truth and you realize how special you are, okay, and all the other knowledge that comes along with it, then you understand, like, yo, all the benefits that, that they're there that they're enjoying in this world, we created. You know, that just makes you want to separate them even more. You know? We're we're the true kings, we're the true rulers. You know? But uh All right, this is James chapter 4 and verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. God, friendship of the world is enmity with the, with the Most High, man. You can't love the world and then love the Most High. It's not going to work like that, man. Okay? Because uh, the scripture says you can't serve two masters. Either you're going to hate the one or love the other. Okay? You have to choose one, man. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't uh, be wishy-washy. Okay, you got to stand on something. 
okay, what you gonna stand on the world? You gonna stand on your Hamashmiel shot, okay? But when you read the scriptures and you go through the precept, you go through the prophecies, you see that this world is gonna be destroyed. So why stand on it? You know, we're gonna stand on your Hamashmiel shot, man. We're gonna stand on that everlasting power, man. Read that again, I. James chapter 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteress, mm -hmm. know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High. Okay. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world mm -hmm. is the enemy of Yahweh. by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, we're not a friend of this world, okay? We're, we're, we want to be friends with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Because uh, Isaiah 45. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. This is a uh, oh, 17. Sorry, this is Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay, and we want to dwell in that world. We don't want to dwell in Esau's world or the other nations' world. We want to dwell in the world that the Lord gave us. Okay, which is which is a, which is a, established on the law, statutes, and commandments, which is established on a covenant, a promise. Okay, that's the world that we want to dwell in. We don't want to dwell in the outside world. We don't want to be uh, uh, adulterers. Okay, and adulteresses. We don't want we don't want to be we don't want to serve other gods anymore. We want to serve our true power. Okay. Right, and if you're not if you're not under authority and subjection to your how about your mouth shine, mm -hmm. that means you. you 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 in authority and subjection to this world, which Job nine and twenty four tell you the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. So you under subjection to the wicked, you oh. know. But but the 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 elect, Lord willing, we a part of that number. We in subjection to your how about Shemel Shai. You know, we rather be in subjection to your how about Shemel Shai than than the spiritual demon Satan. Oh. You know, to, to be um, under subjection to this world and be destroyed. You know, because we know through the scriptures that man, we're still under these curses, man. You know, you wanna you wanna be subject into the world. You're gonna receive more and more of those curses. But what does the scripture says? Uh, uh, what are the wages of sin? The wages of sin is death. Okay. Ultimately, that's what you're gonna receive, man, by serving serving the world. And we don't wanna we don't wanna receive death. We wanna receive life. So we serve the power of life. You know, we serve the Lord. We serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That that just lets you know that two thirds of our people, you know, they love death. You know, we brought love that out at it so man. We brought that out of camp. Uh, you know, all that that hate me love death. Come. You know, and two thirds of our people, you know, they love death. Come. All right. That's all. Uh, that first John. Come love on. not the world neither. Yes, come, come. All right, so this is first John. You know that battery. Uh, and this first John chapter 2 and verse 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him you know and you know it, let me read it again love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him you know so you know that's how you, you can tell you know that two-thirds of our people you know they not walking in the spirit of Yahweh Basham Al Shai you know they, they um Falling the ways of Esau, falling the ways of our oppressors, you know, and the um, Proverbs will tell you, though hand join the hand, the wicked, wicked shall, shall not go unpunished, punished, huh. you know, so, you know, you fall in the ways of Esau, man, that's going to lead you to death, huh. all right, but the, the words that Yahweh Bashim that Yahweh Bashim speak, they are spirit and they, they are life, life you, know? <laughs> you know, you <laughs> know, and that's, and that's how you know um, that, you know, great millstone, they have the truth, because huh. You know, they don't walk in the spirit as the world, you know, even the other Israelite camp, you know, the other Israelite camp, you know, yeah, they teach that, that, that you're Israel, they teach that Esau is a so-called white man, but, you know, they are still um, of the world, Con. you know, they, and you can tell in their spirit. Con, you know? and those of the world, they don't even walk in the spirit, they walk in the flesh, man. Right. They, they, they dwell in lies, man, we not dwelling in lies, we dwelling in truth, okay, in life, all right? But yeah, man, cause, and the scripture also says, man, that you know we have to use the world but not That's abuse it. Right. Okay, there are certain things in the world that we—it's a necessity that we use, 
but not to abuse it. We use it when we need it, when we need to use it, and then we don't, we don't, we don't hold on to it. We don't love these things, man. Right. You know. And when it says love, not to, I mean, when they talk about love, that's like you putting that over your how about your mouth shot. It's not telling you, oh, it's a, it's not, it's okay to love your car. You know, but are you you putting that over your how about your mouth shot? It's okay to love your job, but you you putting that job over the most high, you putting your kids over the most high, your wife over the most high, then that becomes a problem, you right. know, because you got to serve the Lord first, right. you know, the Lord has to be first on your priority list, you know, and then it don't matter what's next after that, you know, as long as it's in righteousness. Can you give me uh, James 1 and 2? Sure. Start, start at the top, James 1. Uh, this is James chapter 1 and verse 1. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shai Amashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perf that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Okay. The scripture says count it all joy, man. Okay, it says count it all joy in what now? Uh, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Okay, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, man. And the only way that you're going to know that you're tempted is by if you're serving the Lord. That's the only way. The, the, dif the difference between the one-third and the two-third is that the one-third know when they're going off. Right. The two-third, they don't know when they're going off. So we count it all joy when we when, we're, when we, uh, we when we get into diverse temptations because we know okay if this thing is tempting us we understand okay and we we have, because the Lord has given the, given us these things now before we enter into the time of Jacob trouble okay so whatever that we're weak at we know okay we'll, okay okay well, I'm tempted to, in, in this area here okay I know I need to work on this two thirds don't have that spirit they don't have that acknowledgement they don't know where they're uh, or where they're off at. But the Lord has blessed us with that ability to know, okay, because our whole thought process is to serve the Lord, okay? And, and, and anything that, that, that steers us away from serving the Lord is a temptation. And we're able to identify these things, man, okay? We know not to do this. We know not to do that. But the two-thirds of our people, they don't have that, 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 uh, that mind, okay? But, we, we, you know, we give all praises to you, Ha'abashim Shah for, for giving us that mind, for, for, for giving us that understanding of where we're going off at. Okay, so we count it all joy. At least I know I'm weak in this area and I got to work on this area. Okay, so in the time of Jacob's trouble, I'm not foreign to it. I'm familiar with this weakness of mine. You know, and now I can, I can, I've been working on it this whole time. I can overcome it because I'm able to identify it. Okay, but two thirds of our people that are in the world, they're not going to be able to identify their faults because they never tried. They never tried entering into that straight gate. They wanted to go into that broad where everything was acceptable. Okay? And also, you know, two-thirds of our people, they don't examine themselves. Right. You know, because, you know, the elect, we constantly, uh, constantly examining ourselves. Constantly. You know, week constantly. in, week out, day out, and day in. You we know? put everything in the balance. Constantly. You know, if it's not benefiting us to do the work of Yahweh Shem El Shai, we, 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 put it, we, put, we put it away. You know, we have to we have to make sure that we keep Yahweh Shem El Shai in, 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 in our sight. You know, anything else that's not that's not going to help us benefit serving the Lord, uh, -uh. we got to get rid of it, or we have to work on get rid of getting rid of these things. Okay, and those are the temptations. Okay. You got anything up? No. Good. Okay. You know, we we low on battery, but you know, we don't we we try to keep these lessons as short as possible sometimes. But you know, uh, let's let's start. Let's uh go back to that first precept. Let's go back to uh. Matthew 7 again, just to uh, bring it all around. Hold on, did we bring out 2nd Israel 7 and 7? No. No, we didn't. Let's bring that in. Let's see. All right, so this is 2nd um, Ezra. Start up at 6, if I'm not mistaken, just for edification. Start at, uh, uh, I'm gonna start at. I'm gonna start at two. Huh. All right, this is Second Ezra chapter seven and verse two. 
And he said unto me, Up, Edris, and hear the words that I that I that I am come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on, my my power. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case, but put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? And you know, that's that's a beautiful thing too. Because uh, uh, it's when things come from the sea and they go to, they go through the river, what happens is there's a process of when, when the water is hitting the rocks, a lot of the salt drops and it becomes from, it turns in from salt water to fresh water. Okay, but it has to go through that process. It has to beat against the rocks. It has to go through the curves and stuff like that. It has to go around the mountain. It has to do all these things. But what it's doing is the salt is dropping and it's picking up the minerals and stuff like that that are that are on the rocks, that are on the side of the mountains and all those kind of things. And then ultimately it turns into fresh water. Okay, go ahead, Arkin. Con. Um, let me read verse 5 again. Mm -hmm. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it mm -hmm. and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, mm -hmm. how could he come into the broad? There is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field, and it is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Mm -hmm. Like as if like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left on and on the left a deep water. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could be one, but there could but one man go therein at once. If the city now were given into a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before him, how shall he receive this inheritance? Uh, and one of the precepts that go along with that is work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, okay? Because only one man could go through the, go through that path. By uh, 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 only one man can go through that path, man. You know, and spiritually, individually, we're going through that path, man. Because each of each of us have our own challenges. You know, we have our own uh, 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 different kinds of uh, uh, temptations, okay? So what is tempting to me may not be tempting to this brother. And what may be tempting to this brother may not be tempting to me, you know? But all these things we have to work out when we're going through this path, man. We have to work out our own salvation. And I can't have faith for this brother. This brother has to have his own faith, and I have to have my own faith. Okay? Likewise, you brothers. We can't have faith for you. You have to have your own faith. Okay? Don't, because that's what two-thirds are going to try to do uh, during the time of Jacob's trouble. They're going to try to uh, lean upon us and, and attach, themselves, us, uh, attach themselves to us. As if they're gonna, you know, receive salvation by by standing next to us. It's not gonna work, okay? Because even when you we, we speak about it all the time, where when the, uh, when we speak about the chariots, how when the chariots uh, 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 lift up your house shot, it parted him, man. The beam came down and it separated him from everybody else, man. Okay, so when that beam comes down and delivers the elect, those those little stragglers who think they could just, you know. Uh, uh, follow, hang on to our coattail. You know, follow us around, thinking that they're gonna receive salvation just by just because they're around us. No, it's not gonna work like that, man. If you're not of, the, if you're not of the chosen, if you're not of the elect, man, that that beam is going, it's not gonna pick you up. Okay, you gotta work out your own salvation. Only one man can go through that path, man. Fire on one side and water on the other, man. Okay, it's a narrow path. You know, because anything could. Any little thing could could uh could uh, make cause you to go astray, you know. But those of us who are walking this path, we are mindful of these things because Yahweh Shem has has warned us of these things. Okay, warned us of these things that are gonna uh, cause us to go astray, you know. But the Lord gave us a path to walk, and Yahweh Shem is our guide, and He walked that path. And all we have to do is follow Him, man. And we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, uh, fall on the uh, on the side of fire, uh, neither on the on on. on on the side of water okay so it is another a narrow path man okay you have any 
anything else? Nah. Okay. You know? But uh, we're going to close up this video, man. And we, we, you know, this lesson. And we hope you brothers were edified, man. You know, it was in our spirit to bring this lesson out. And we hope, especially you younger brothers and those of you brothers who are uh, new in this truth, you know, new to the body, Lord willing, you know, uh, that you receive, you know, the understanding that, that we're, we're trying to bring out. You know, only Yahweh Shah, only Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah can give you the understanding. We're just planting the seed and, you know, and, and watering it or you're watering it. But only Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah can give the increase, man. Only the Most High can make you grow, you know. But, um, you know, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kadash. We want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. We want to give salutations to the Akim preaching the gospel. Across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, my young. Shalom. 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 Sh